what you are about to see is real. All video and audio was captured in an actual paranormal investigation. Nothing has been manufactured or staged. Previously on Local Haunts, we answered a call from a location that Local Haunts investigated before. It seems that there were new spiritual shenanigans going on at 99.9 .9 Gator Country, a location we previously investigated with much success and evidence of paranormal activity. But now we are back to validate the claims of new occurrences that have the staff of the radio station spooked. What will we find as we explore Local Haunts? Hello and welcome to Local Haunts. I'm your host, Steve Christian. Joining me as usual is my better half, Pamela Teresa, medium in the raw, along with Savannah Huffingham and Tommy Riggins. And from 99.9 .9 Gator Country, Steve Sutton and his better half, Michelle Stallions. And the investigation continues right now. having conversations because I know that they're talking around us and so um, when we come through this footage there'll be a lot of EVPs in here. Yeah, we, we catch a lot of EVPs uh -huh. in post-production. They love to be part of the conversation. So well, we had in the in the past we had uh, a visitor. We used to have a uh, rock station play mm -hmm. classic rock and right. it was in that oh, studio yeah. over there. We caught some EVPs in there. Yeah, and he was a big fan of uh, cer uh, certain songs mm -hmm. and we'd be sitting here during the course of our day and all of a sudden the volume on whatever song in there was co was played from a normal level to a really holy loud. crap turn that down level right. <laughs> and then at the end of it it would go back to normal uh -huh. by itself by itself <laughs> and we're all looking up and down the hall at each other going who was in there it's like well nobody was in there <laughs> and it, that was that room was particularly active mm -hmm. what's it now uh, it's now a production studio. Okay. And so did you guys lose a, a station? We sold two stations, so we cut the number of studios in our building in half. Okay. So that's it's just nice. us and WEJZ that's okay. uh, that's left. So I don't know if he was you know, bored with the fact that we don't play rock and roll anymore, or went on you know. his way. He's watching yeah. you though. Apparently. He he must be. <laughs> and so it, it, -E -J -Z? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Arthur and Arthur and Yvonne. Easy listening. Oh, ninety six point yeah. one. Yeah, ninety six point one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. Cool. Because yeah, there's people backing over there too as well. Savannah, have you noticed the guys walking around you over there? In this room. I'm in focus mode right now. Oh, okay. In this room or behind? Yeah, me? I mean he keeps walking around Savannah. So He's I'm hoping that we're catching on camera. Well, they typically like to see what they're looking uh -huh. at. So yeah. Yeah. And they're probably looking at me going, God, i got to look at that every day. Yeah. And, and Tommy will pick up um, uh, EVPs off of, because they like to go over your shoulder and watch what you're doing. And yeah. so that's what's really, really? cool. Uh -huh. yeah, those, the cameras actually get more EVPs than these do. Uh-huh. Because wow. they want to see what's going on. So if you ever feel like a little bit of a warmth come up from behind, that's what you're feeling. See, because right now as you were talking about that, I got a little chill. Uh-huh. Oh, there you go. <laughs> right up to my back to the point where it was like, oh, it's kind of uncomfortable. Because you can feel them going, they're talking about us. Okay, cool. Uh, so are these new people? 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 Again, it's a blend. Oh, we have some, some of the uh, yeah. bill standbys are still around. Yeah, we around have a couple that I've recognized. The and ones that make the staircase really busy. Um, yeah, I thought I was going to fall back there a minute ago coming up the stairs again. I guess I have to make a conscientious effort. Yeah. You know, some mornings it's like, okay, one after the other, don't get fancy. Coming up on Local Haunts. He's 5 foot 11. Okay, so he's all right. Uh -huh. hey. Now, you're about 5 foot 11, right? Okay, so he's your height. Pretty he skinny. 
make me throw up out of nowhere. Yeah. Do you feel like sometimes, like, all of a sudden you have allergies when you walk in here? Yes. Uh, all of us do. Okay, because I definitely have somebody here that uh, really had some serious, like, pneumonia sort of issues. Respiratory. Respiratory issues. I can tell you right now, okay. there isn't a person in this building that hasn't felt. Okay. That it, and, and that it's sourced here. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. And it's... That explains a lot. Yeah, it does. And it's an empathic hit, and when you leave, it goes away. So, um... Yeah, that's what that is. Allergic to work? No, it's, yeah, it's not. It's, you know, some people might go, what, is the building kind of sick or something? No, it's just on when earthbound spirits. I is, it, is that the way it is sometimes with the with the allergy? Because I work in a place that we call a sick building. So um, It's because whoever's there who's earthbound, that was their death process. Gotcha. Um, and it actually creates a physical manifestation mm -hmm. to where you literally are like, <clears throat> need a little bit of... Mm -hmm. A little bit of help, but it starts out with you have dry mouth. Yeah, well, for me, I'm gonna walk you through it. My eyes started thirsty burning. right now. For talking about my this. eyes started burning. Uh, my mouth got really dry. I started getting really congested. That's why I was clearing my throat. So that's this guy, the guy that was running around Savannah over there. Um, really? <laughs> yeah. How dry so, I am. Yeah. How dry I am. So I'm gonna work to help him um, on his merry way. He had AIDS. They were kind of playing I Spy on us while we we're out there chit chatting. Really. Were they outside or looking outside? Popping in and out. Wow. So to see what we were up to. Anyway, so, so he definitely had AIDS. Now I'm um, double thinking every sort of health manifestation that I've ever had in this building. Uh -huh. About a month ago, got to work, and I sat in here. And he's I started five foot doing, eleven. Hmm? He's five foot eleven. Okay, so he's our height. Uh -huh. Would he? Yeah, you're about five foot eleven, right? Okay, so he's your height. Would but he? He's skinny make me throw up out of nowhere. Yeah. Because, okay, think about AIDS. Think about okay. um, all of that. And okay. so he's um, been here at the station, I would say, for a good nine months. So I don't know really? how he came, who he came with. Does that make sense for yes. as long as y'all have been feeling this? Yes. That makes yeah. a lot. Putting the breadcrumbs together. Yes, we are. Makes me, because I felt great. He, sitting down, he really, doing uh, my thing. He hasn't been, uh, he's not old as far as the spirit world goes. I mean, he, he's fresh. He's yeah. like 2017-ish. Hmm. Wow. Um, I might lean more towards 18 anyway. Wow. Um, well, you should give me the month of January as a point, but there's no validation on this. I'm kicking the step out in case you pick up anything on ABP, what he's saying. Well, that happened, I'm actually producing a show. Uh, today I was working on the show and we caught an EVP and then actually you said it. No, he said it, then you said it. So immediately he caught the EVP and him saying how old he was and she said he's 63. So well, for what it's worth, it was January when I puked. Okay. Oh, okay. well, there you go. Yeah, so that's, yeah, so that's what you showed me for the And I'm right? not, that's not part of what I do. No. It broke a great record. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And so a lot that does go on with people, they don't realize everybody's sensitive. Everybody has that connection. And, you know, sometimes it is something wrong with us physically. Remember the legal disclaimer about me, doctors too. But then there's the unexplained. And it happens and it just like magically disappears. Like sometimes you think we're hypochondriacs. Like what the hell? That happened last week and now this is happening this week. Um... But yeah, I, I'm going to call him James. I like to name him. He's like, that's not my name. Freddie. It's Freddie Mercury. I know now, it. Okay, the reason why I'm battling on his name, because his name is actually David, um, which brings to memory uh, somebody that we connected with I delivered a read to. But David didn't have AIDS. So no. I know this is him, and he's transitioned. He's fully transitioned, and so that's why. Uh, I said, well, I'm going to name you. I, I get weird that way. I don't know why. Well, I think uh, they each have a identity. Yeah. They're each individuals. Yeah. And yeah. I think they're worthy of something that separates them from 
right. everything else. Well, the thing is, is I never like to get too attached to them anyway, or vice versa. So I'm yeah. like, well, you're not important enough for me to get your real name anyway, but I thought I would articulate that as well. His name is David. Okay. Um, Are you from around here, David? Yes. Local boy. Local boy. Um, Did you listen to David? Okay, <laughs> so... <laughs> well, why, why is he here? Just had to be, had to be somewhere. I would have to say he came with somebody. Uh, tag along. Tag along. Bring, it, bring it, uh, spirit to work with you. They call that drafting. Yeah. <laughs> Coming up on Local Haunts. Okay, so right here, we have a person <coughs> sitting right here on this table. Right here. Mm -hmm. Right here. Mm -hmm. Definitely on this Hitchhikers, yeah, um, just because if it, it doesn't mean that they're actually connected with the person, it just means they were there and like the person. Well, that person picked them up somewhere, too. So. I mean, the person could have been sitting at a red light, mm -hmm. and it wasn't you, and it wasn't you, and it wasn't us, it was somebody else. Um, so yeah, so that's where I'm gonna stay out of it. He's been here about nine months, that's yeah. fascinating. Well, David, hopefully we can help you uh, move on tonight. Wow, well, go see that. Doorway. He's like, it's dark in here. Oh, he thinks he's going to hell. No, there is no hell. No. Hell's, no. Down, hell's down the street. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, actually, you are in hell with us. Come on. Uh, you are in hell with us. Come on. Uh, you are in hell with us. Come on. Uh, you are in hell with us. Come on. Uh, yeah. And also, too, he was having some serious neck issues. Really? Um, just not that same neck issue, but just like right through here. Yeah. Probably from throwing up so much. <laughs> How old was that? Oh, 47-ish. 47. -ish. 47. Mm -hmm. Would you want to move somewhere else or want to stick around? Like, <coughs> if you want. Yep, yep. I would say it's hard to find... Another spot to yeah, it's a little, it's a little He's like, well, we got all that. I smell crayons. Yeah, everything coloring. We just caught an amazing EVP. As we have communication about those who are around us in spirit, they start to become aware of their situation. They become aware that they are dead. That is the first step in getting them to transition to move on to heaven. This EVP validates that awareness. Here it is again, filtered and amplified. I do smell I crayons. Smell. You smell the crayons? A little bit, yeah. That's new. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Oh, we're going in here? Okay. This is Arthur Crofton's room. The best part about muting it is tomorrow morning, he's going to come in here and freak out. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, I was gonna say it feels really good now. Okay, over here. All right, I'm definitely being pulled to the right over here. This chair? Um, uh, yeah, but like if you try oh. to stand right here, it's almost like gonna fall over. I know this is the power of suggestion here now, but I'm just telling you what I felt here. And has Tommy ever validated that? I think Tommy's a virgin to that. Tommy's a virgin. Well, right. let's start with let's start with Michelle. You might be on the camera now. Uh -huh. In front of the camera. Michelle, come show him how to <laughs> fill up the spirit. Okay. Go scrub him. So right here, in the chair. In the chair? In the chair. Well, you have the AC the vent tangle? right over your head That's there. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, yeah, I like having the AC vent so that way it's like a scientific thing. With the cold coming down, but you can feel the warmth yes. of the person. Yes. And sometimes people yeah. feel the tingly. Sometimes people, it feels a little bit wet for them. Oh, or is he sitting? He's sitting. Okay. So that makes sense as to why you went a little yeah, bit further down. down yeah, where that's what I'm saying. You want, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so around here. Uh huh. So if what you want to do is you want to kind of pull out a little bit and feel the difference of the vibrational current, kind of like, and then slide in. Do you feel any kind of a? T um, I, I feel a tingle. The tingle is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So I think the tingle is winning um, as far as yeah. more people feel the tingle. For me, 
I feel like that warmth and that density. You're a freak of nature, we all know that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. people. Uh, uh, now, that guy had a heart attack. So I don't know if you were feeling that. And is that normal? Uh, or I'm going to ask the doctors in the house here, Savannah. <laughs> but do you get a little dizzy if you're having heart issues? Well, if you don't have blood pumping to your head, <laughs> you might yeah, it would depend on the Yeah, I would think so. Yeah. Okay. Would you fall to the right more often than not? Or would that matter? I don't know. It's a heart. I'm going real deep scientific here. Check this guy. I wonder, people who have died of heart attacks. I wonder if we were. Do they fall more left or oh, right? Yeah. Is it is it left or right? Well, maybe he had a right sided heart attack. Yeah, he's got a nice um, do they play jazz mu music in here at all? Uh, there's some stuff that gets a little on the jazzy kind of side, but not hardcore. Mm -hmm. As far as uh, uh, like a, a Dixieland or a blues. Mm -hmm. Did it used to be jazz thing. in here? They used to play a lot. A lot of jazz back in the day. Okay, yeah. so I'm hearing jazz music that. in here. Really? Mm -hmm. You know how energy imprints to where they just echoes in time. So all time really is like. Whatever has ever happened in this space still exists in this space. Coming up on Local Haunts. Okay, so right here, we have a person <coughs> sitting right here on the street. Right here. Mm -hmm. Right here. Mm -hmm. Definitely on that street. So, it's definitely David over there watching you. Mm -hmm. um, is he the one, does he take responsibility for that? Yes. This one's a little bit grumpy. <laughs> See, like attracts the like. That's interesting. So somebody who's in the earthbound realm is going to be more attracted to... Someone that they're like. Someone that they're like. Wow. Oh, uh -huh. that totally makes sense. So it's sense. good. There's a lot of responsibility in being a happy, good person. Because everybody's haunted. <laughs> 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 so yeah, there must be a little trickster in you. <laughs> uh, there is, <laughs> and thinking about it, I'd almost hate to admit that knowing the way that I am when the usual routine is upset, uh, I usually get a little tick that I'm not a big fan of it, but I'm a big fan of seeing it happen and doing it. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. I can see that. Totally. I don't mind seeing somebody else get goofed on for a change. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> that is. Uh, Mama Bass is a big pranker. Oh, he is. He's that makes sense, dating. and he's in that room too, right? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna go hit the hall. Yes. Yeah, let's figure. Cool. Let's go. We're gonna be the. Uh, uh, I'm totally getting into Agatha Christie's lately, you know, the detective monster detectives like Perot and such like. Mm -hmm. Let's go figure it out. <laughs> now this is the famous That's right. This is really this, clear right here. This is where um, Michelle Chase felt her friend that freaked her out. Mm -hmm. But yeah. It feels good right here. I wish I could tell you how to turn that light out. There's probably a switch in my house that right. <laughs> You guys have an elevator? Yes. Oh. Okay. Yeah, none of us ever none of us ever want to use the elevator. No, I wouldn't. Uh, I would not use it. It's mm -hmm. a, just a little super sketch. But we do have a little bit downstairs. Mm-hmm. Right. Our crayon folk are following us. Oh, right. oh right here it's really strong. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> Where am I? This is what used to be the cube farm. Okay. After helping many of the lost souls transition, some chose to remain for now. 99.9 .9 Gator Country proves once again to be a local haunt.